I moved to Colorado in 2003 and for the first oh, 10 or so years here, um, I would go to this little town north of here called Ure. Bless you. Thank you. I'd go to this town with my family called Ure, Colorado. It's about 70 miles north of Durango where I live. And this town is surrounded by mountain cliffs. Uh, the road into town from the south comes off this really high pass and comes down into town. And, you know, like maybe four or 500 people live there year round. Very quaint Victorian houses, um, cute main street, coffee shop, candy store, tourist stuff and just surrounded by spectacular scenery. And I'd go there, you know, several times a year. They had these hot springs that are famous there. Um, and one night I was out walking and I heard a phone ring sort of echoed off the valley, off the mountains. And then another phone rang and then another phone rang. It, was, it just sounded really weird, these three phones ringing and the sounds of their, um, of the sounds of them like echoing. And for whatever reason, I just had this weird, thing went through my head. It's like, what if they're calling each other about me? What if I'm not supposed to be here? And this is some kind of a weird community and they're all going to come running out of their houses, trying to find me and track me down. Like what if a whole town uh, mobilized and came after me? Um, and I didn't know why I was there. I don't know why they were doing this, but I, th I just thought that is a really interesting premise. Um, and I kicked the idea around for a long time. And I came up with this idea of a, a secret service agent who's coming to this remote town. I moved it to Idaho because I wanted it to sound even more remote. Um, he's looking for his missing partner and he gets there and then all these crazy things happen. I literally made a list of like all of the genre tropes. And I was like, how many of these can I squeeze into the first hundred pages just to keep the audience completely guessing? Amnesia, um, guy uh, on the run, um, looking for someone who's missing, um, the notion of being kidnapped, the notion of people um, behaving strangely for no discernible reason. Um, and I loved all this. And I knew the first 100 pages were going to be amazing, but I had no idea what any of it meant. Literally no idea what any of it meant. I didn't know why these people were acting weird. I didn't know why this town was here. I didn't know why he couldn't leave. Um, and in the past, like with some of my earlier books, I had... I had kind of rushed in and started writing before I knew really what I was doing and it, it had suffered. Um, and I was like, I'm not going to do that this time. So I went off and did some other things. And, um, but I would keep coming back to these journals where I, where I, how I write, I kind of take notes. And finally, one day I had this um, just crazy epiphany and I'm not going to spoil what the reason behind all of it is. Um, but I thought that is so cool. And I'm so glad I didn't start writing this book until I realized what the, uh, the big mystery behind this town was. Um, but once I knew what it was, I, uh, I started uh, trying to create a comic book out of it. Um, and I was talking to Vertigo and we were starting to break out this series, uh, like a maxi series for it. But, you know, they couldn't, uh, they could, he could, the guy couldn't make, make the deal with his power, his bosses. And finally I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna write the novel instead. And uh, went off and, and wrote the novel and um, that's it, the rest is history. There is a small subdivision near where I live that's called Whispering Pines that I used to drive past all the time. Um, so I, that must've made some sort of an imprint on me. Weirdly, um, I did not name the book. I was calling it psychosis at the, excuse me, at the time, because I thought the main character was obviously going through some kind of psychosis. Um, and uh, my friend, Brian Azzarello, the uh, comic writer who I was talking to when I was trying to kind of get this thing going at Vertigo, he was like, you should just call it Pines. I was like, that's a really good idea. Um, in hindsight, I wish I had named the first one Wayward, the second one Pines and the third one Last Town.